guys and welcome to my channel my name is Shisiran in today's video I'm going to be doing this look right here I'm honestly going to just be focusing on my eyes because that is the one thing that I was inspired to do I guess um I am doing like I don't know if you guys can see but it's a red um eyeliner which that's all I wanted to show today I wanted my eye look to be like more out there than anything else that's why I went with the subtle lip and my face is a little glammed up but it's totally fine. I think the eyes and the face looks gorgina, if you know what I mean. But the lips is very subtle, which I really, really, really love. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video as well. And if you guys want this look, just keep on watching. Okay, guys, so today is going to be all about eyes. So that's why my face is already done. And um, we're going to get right into the eyes and my lips. I don't have anything on my lips yet either because I don't know what to put on my lips with this look that I'm trying to do. So we're going to we're gonna jump right into um, eyes. First, let me spray some some of my Mario Badesco spray because I forgot to spray some. That was a lot, actually, but it's okay. So we're going to go right into eyes. And I'm going to start off by, by using my Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which I use in, like, every tutorial. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. And I think today I'm just going to do, like, a subtle eye because I do want to do such a, a bold, um... What's that called? Oh, this is such a bold wing. My lips look crazy, by the way. I know. It's okay. It is totally okay. What? What am I using? Okay, so I'm gonna be using Max um vanilla color to prime my eyes. So I'm just going to set the lid or the eyes or whatever you want to call it. By the way, my highlight is so fleekish today. It is incredible. I didn't realize I put so much highlight, but I don't really care because I love highlight. My highlight is popping today. Okay, um, I'm going to go right into shadows, and I'm only going to be using two shadows today. I'm going to be using um, the MAC Hawks um, shadow and the MAC Full shadow. I think that's how you say it. Full, no, Full Eye, Foley, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but whatever. Um, and we're going to use these in the crease area. I'm going to do like a very dark crease. I'm going to like make it all settle, but these are pretty dark colors. I'm not even going to start with a transition shade. I'm just going to go right into it. I'm just going to mix the two, which what I like about this one is that it's more of a like mauve darker color, if you know what I mean, like a dusty rose color. I'm just going to go right into the crease area with this shade. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. How I said, it's going to be a very subtle like eye makeup just because I want to do a very bold. Well, I don't think it's bold, I just want to do something a little different. And I'm just mixing the two just because they're very similar. Um, Foley, I think it's called, is a little darker than Hawks, but I'm just mixing the two, honestly. I'm just gonna go back in with the vanilla color. I'm going to put it on my. Lid. So that is it for the eyes. We're gonna go right into eyeliner, which today, ironically, I'm not using the eyeliner. I'm actually using a lipstick, and I'm probably I'm debating which one I want to use. It's either the Maybelline um burgundy burgundy blush, which is this color right here. It's like a dark burgundy. Or this NYX color right here, which is, I don't know the name of this one, it's called Siren, I think. Yeah, Siren, and um, it's kind of similar, but one is lighter than the other. I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh, uh, yes, you can tell. This one's a lot darker. This is more of a chocolatey color. It's a chocolatey burgundy color, and this one's more burgundy. But I want to use this one right here um, to do the like the bold liner. Let's see how it turns out. If not, I'm going to go into this with this one, with the Maybelline one. So I'm going to be starting off with the NYX Siren color, which looks like this. And I'm going to get a... Uh, so I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Angled Eyeliner Brush, which is very cheap. And it makes my life so much easier to do a wing liner, honestly. It makes it a lot neater. 
So I'm just going to draw the line. I'm loving how it's coming out so far. I love this color. I was like, I want to do something a little different. Instead of black, I want to do a, like a burgundy color. I remember I had this shade in. I said, why not just try it? Oh my God, I'm really loving this wing. Do you guys see that? I'm sorry, my little hairs are sticking up in the back. They always do that. I have to like... So much spray. Oh my god, I really loved how this came out. I wasn't really sure how the wing, how the um, burgundy color was going to turn out, but I'm really, really loving it. It's gonna be like my go-to Christmas look from now on. Well, the liner, anyways, it looks so gorgeous. Do you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that because it looks so good. What I like most about this wing is that I have really brown eyes, and the red makes my brown eyes stick out so much. I don't know if you guys can see, but it honestly, I feel like it opens my eyes up. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love this. I'm loving it right now and I'm just gonna leave the wing like that and I'm gonna go right into my bottom lash line and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get the oh, what's it called the Foley color the Mac um, Foley color and I'm going to get some on a pencil brush and I'm just going to I really really liked how it turned out and I was really hoping it turned out nicely because I wanted it so good for you guys um honestly I think I'm going to be going to this look all the time just because I really fell in love with it I was honestly just playing around and I was looking at my makeup and I was like you know what would be cool a really cool like burgundy reddish eye like an eyeliner and Look at that. It makes my eyes, honestly, I feel like it makes my eyes pop out more. I don't know if you guys can notice it through the lens, but I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I just really like how it looks. And I'm looking into my viewfinder, I think that's what we call it, but whatever. I I really, I really like how the eye look came out. Like, the red or burgundy um, liner looks so good. I'm, I'm like, really, like, in love. You guys don't understand. Alright, so I'm going to put some... I'm like highlight in her inner corner just because I feel like it looks too like dry and dead there. Um, and I'm gonna be using the the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow thingy. I feel like this could be a really nice holiday look. So I decided not to put falsies on just because I feel like I wanted the eyeliner to speak for itself. And I'm really liking this subtle like lip and you know the face is like all glammed up but I'm really liking everything else. So I decided not to put falsies on. I'm going to spray myself with the Mario Badesco spray one more time. Ooh, ooh, doesn't taste so good. But this is the final look guys. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um... I'm telling you, it was just like a spur of the moment thing. Like, I just got inspired and I wanted to do a colored eyeliner. And I just wanted the the eyes to be the main attraction, even though the face is a little more dulled up. But the eyes and the liner is a little different. Not the eyes, but the liner itself. But the subtle lip. And you can definitely go bold with the lip if you, if you would like. But I just wanted the eyes to be the main attraction and everything. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I really love you guys. Um... 
if you have any comments or anything you want to say to me just please comment down below i'll see you guys in the next video bye don't forget to stay positive and don't forget to stay beautiful i'll see you guys in the next one bye